help you find and play the games that you love. You know, I love the art form of video games. I think we tell stories that bring people together, whether it's competing or whether it's cooperative. This is just what gaming should be about. Wow, after all of this time, it's special to be back here with Xbox fans around the world. I mean, just look at this stage. That alone shows you how far we've all come since 2001. My name is Robbie Bach, and I had the privilege of being in charge of Xbox until I retired from Microsoft in 2010. Now, when we started Xbox 20 years ago, the original idea was a business venture, a way for Microsoft to get into the living room. But as we assembled our team and got to work, Xbox quickly blossomed into a new vision for what games could be. An ethernet port to connect players over the internet at broadband speeds. A built-in hard drive to help games evolve beyond the limitations of disks and cartridges. A global dedicated online service to let you play with old and new friends alike, no matter where they are. These were audacious, groundbreaking ideas at the time, but they were also risky. We face skeptics and doubters, I'll be honest and say inside and outside of Microsoft. We had missteps along the way. There were lots of challenges involved in getting that first Xbox out the door in a way that was true to our vision. So when I think about what it took to bring Xbox to life, I always remember that success was not guaranteed. And it was your passion for what Xbox is that transformed that vision into reality. A vision only comes to life when others share a belief in what's possible. And for that, we are grateful to all of you, our partners, developers around the world, and most of all, our fans. Microsoft is gonna make a game console. We weren't sure how we were gonna do it. The risk was enormous. Microsoft was this dominant company of the era, but success or even survival was anything but preordained. We started to ship quality games. And at the same time, we weren't doing anything in the console space. One day, these guys from the DirectX team walked in. We just thought of ourselves kind of that rebels of a weird combination of craziness and genius. We were a renegade team. A lot of our thinking was focused on making the very best games. That really meant something for us. We wanted to make a console designed to be easy and fun to make games on. We were trying to crash meetings and get traction on this thing. We were an annoyance. You're proposing taking money away from office in order to fund some game system? Balmer understood where the money came from. Steve looked at the Xbox idea and saw insanity. Wait just one minute before you answer. What's the hard drive going to cost? What's the ethernet port going to cost? There's no way. Everything about making a console is hard. We made this little device that was held together by chewing gum and paste. And it doesn't turn on. It became clear that there was just some really big challenges for us. The Duke wasn't a small controller. You had to have gorilla hands to work with this thing. It doesn't matter what your technology is. If you don't have the games, we were done. They had this new thing called Halo. Forza was built as an epic racing game. Gears of War was appealing to a hardcore gamer. We were focused on having all of our games prepped for E3, and you were always just one catastrophic bug away from not making it. What's going on? The Red Ring of Doubt. Microsoft brand is on the line, the Microsoft name's on the line. It's insane to launch a game console. When you're Microsoft, you made freaking Windows in a spreadsheet. It was chaotic. Chaos, total chaos. Our goal is to continue to innovate across all platforms, bridge the gap between traditional and cloud-based games. And then sometimes there's surprises that come out of nowhere. We are no longer in the Microsoft playbook. Power 
on the story of Xbox is a six-part documentary series that will release on December 13th across a variety of video platforms. So the project began almost three years ago with a simple question. Is there a compelling story behind the history of Xbox? The answer, it turns out, was yes, absolutely. So we partnered with an Emmy Award-winning documentary film team to really dig in and help bring the story to life. At its core, it's a story about how Xbox started as a passion project from a small group of gamers within Microsoft and grew to become a source of joy for Xbox players around the world. Whether you've been here for the entire 20 years or you have just joined us, we're excited to have you with us today. And we're gonna relive some of our favorite moments, hear some words of wisdom from our very own Phil Spencer, and definitely have a little bit of fun. Well, thanks, Rock. And it really is an honor to have you here. Believe it or not, I'm a big fan of yours. For instance, I know that you're a five-time WWF champion, not to mention one of the top entertainers in the world. Bill, I'm very flattered. I'm a big fan of yours as well. Uh, for instance, The Rock knows you're the chairman and chief software architect of the Microsoft Corporation, a leading worldwide provider of software for the personal computer. <laughs> Thank you, Rock. I'm, I'm very flattered myself. By creating Windows, by creating Windows in 1983, a multitasking graphical user interface environment that runs on MS-DOS-based computers along with Windows NT and Windows 2000, completely self-contained operating systems that feature networking, uh, symmetric multi-processing, <laughs> multi-threading, and uh, security. Bill, you've certainly revolutionized the technology we know today. Wow. Rock, that is impressive. So, uh, for the first time, let me now unveil Xbox. I think this is going to be looked back on as the golden age of video games. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Spencer, known on Xbox as P3. I've been playing video games pretty much my whole life. I actually joined this company as an intern when I was still in school a long time before Xbox was even a concept. So when I think about 20 years of Xbox and what games mean to all of us, I always come back to the fact that around the world, gaming is all about people. That's it. Games are all about real people coming together to create experiences and relationships that cross geographies and cultures and age and all the things that can separate people in other parts of life. Personally, I've been fortunate to see that power of gaming to connect people in a few ways. At work, the best part of my job is spending time with the ridiculously talented teams, both here at Xbox and across our industry. You, gaming creators around the world, are at the forefront of the world's most exciting art form. But the reality is that as an industry, none of our work comes to life until it's enjoyed by our players. You, the global gaming community, are a powerful force, and it is you who've made our passion as popular and important as it is today. Pretty much every day when I'm off work, I'm on Xbox. I'm chatting with friends, we're driving Jeeps off cliffs in Forza, I'm trying new games in Game Pass. This is where we live, and we've all seen how important and real those human relationships can be, especially in the face of real life adversity. So when I think about 20 years of Xbox, I think about you, our community and our creators. And I want you to know that I'm dedicated, Team Xbox is dedicated, and this company is dedicated to continuing to invest, listen and learn as we build the best, most welcoming, 
and most fun entertainment ecosystem anywhere on Earth and beyond. At Xbox, we're on a mission to bring the joy and community of gaming to everyone. And we're honored that you've joined us for the last 20 years, and we can't wait to build the future together. So thank you, and see you online. His name's Jacob. I met him like three years ago on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So over the next year, he quickly became one of our best friends. We're meeting for the first time. But of course, it was only online. I've never seen him in person. Tanner lives in Spokane, Washington. And then I was like, bro, I want to be in Canada. He's like, bro, no way. He's here. It's just so crazy. And let's pack up and head to St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> Man, how's it been? Bro, I'm so happy to see Yo, you. Bro. The Bridge Boys are back. I've met Jacob. That is That's why we're friends. We're all here. Here's a gears of war. Here's a gears of war. We met this dude on Xbox. Xbox. <laughs> Since the launch of Xbox One, we've listened to you, the community of Xbox gamers, and we're grateful for your continued feedback. We continue to deliver monthly platform feature updates that enhance your gaming experience, and your response to the updates continues to motivate us. Last year, the team decided to tackle a feature that has been consistently at the top of your request list. And while we weren't sure it was possible, today, I'm pleased to announce Xbox One backward compatibility. Your Xbox 360 games, the games you've invested your time and money in, and the games you want to continue to replay will be playable natively on your Xbox One. You asked for more games to join our backward compatibility catalog, from the biggest blockbusters to cult classics. And we listened. Today, we are celebrating our anniversary by adding more than 70 original Xbox and Xbox 360 games to our backward compatibility catalog. The entire Max Payne series is now playable on Xbox Series X, Series S, and Xbox One consoles for the very first time. The entire Fear franchise can now be played on our latest machines. Games like Dead or Alive Ultimate and Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast are once again playable on a new generation of consoles. All original Xbox games will look better than ever on all modern consoles. Every one of the titles added today will benefit from Auto HDR, and many will enjoy increased frame rates with FPS Boost, including a wider range of our existing backward compatible titles like the Gears of War franchise, the Fable franchise, Cameo, and Sonic Generations. At Xbox, we are committed to preserving the games that you love, enhanced by the latest technology while staying true to the original creator's vision. What better way to celebrate the past 20 years than by playing the iconic games that helped define it? Thank you for being with us on every step of this journey.
All right, Xbox fans, the time has come. Can you believe it has been 20 years since I stood on that CES stage in Las Vegas and helped launch the original Xbox. Now, of course, I nailed all the cool buzzwords. The Rock's here to say that that can't be farther from the truth. Symmetric multiprocessing, completely self-contained operating system. And how about that look? I mean, the outfit, the glasses, who wears glasses inside? And I even had hair back then. Those were the days, the good old days. Now, thank the Lord, I left the fanny pack in my closet. All right, well, I hope you had a chance to watch Red Notice on Netflix over the weekend. Now, here's the thing. We built a kick-ass vault inspired by the film with some amazing treasures and artifacts from Xbox over the last 20 years. Now look, my co-stars Ryan Reynolds and Gal Gadot being the master thieves that they are, they are hell-bent on getting into the vault and getting their hands on these artifacts themselves. So I need your help. I need you to break into the Xbox vault yourself by heading over to the site below. Now I'm excited to tell you we got hundreds and hundreds of amazing prizes, including an oil painting of yours truly from that moment 20 years ago. The look, the glasses, the hair, the whole thing is there. And custom Xbox Red Notice hardware, Game Pass collector's cards. We got hundreds and hundreds of them for you guys. And last but not least, three Cleopatra eggs, just like the ones in Red Notice. All right, it's time for me to go and hit the Iron Paradise and show Master Chief what uh, real guns look like. You never cease to amaze the rock. Enjoy the rest of the show. the streets of the future is really going to be breathtaking. You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. You're all breathtaking. <laughs> it's more than just fun. It's an activity that brings people from all walks of life, from all over the world together. Puede ser real en un juego. Congratulations. Pour moi, les jeux vidéo sont un moyen de s'évader et de penser à autre chose, mais surtout de découvrir des univers incroyables, des expériences inédites en coop ou en multijoueur, mais surtout de s'amuser, c'est le plus important. vision that we've worked on for so long, you see it in real products. Xbox One X, the most powerful console ever made. That journey from vision to reality isn't always a direct path. We see a future where you're instantly absorbed in your games, where worlds are even more lifelike, immersive, responsive, and surprising. We centered on this idea of putting the player at the center, really freeing up the player to play the games that they want with the people they want on the devices that they want to play. Yes! 
Xbox will be the platform that underpins gaming experiences for the globe. That's the vision. It will connect people. It will empower creators to achieve things they never could before. It will break down barriers. That's what I believe. A milestone like the 20th anniversary of Xbox is more than a chance to reflect on all we've done and everything our players have taught us. With 23 studios across Xbox Game Studios and Bethesda all pouring their incredible passion into creating new worlds and amazing experiences, the future of gaming is awe-inspiring. At Xbox, our love for players starts with our love for games and the creators who make them. We know that to reach more gamers in more parts of the world, we need to keep bringing more creative voices and perspectives to the table. Fostering a community as diverse as the world we live in and inclusive of all that makes each of us who we are. That's why we relentlessly invest to make it easier and faster for developers to build the games we love. We've driven innovation to enable developers to build accessibility features into their games, like remappable controls and adjustable color or text for players who are visually impaired. We collaborate with creators to encourage representation of diverse characters for stories that can open our eyes and our hearts to new points of view. And we're committed to bringing those incredible games to every gamer on the planet by making it possible for anyone to play any game anywhere. We do that with Game Pass, bringing you hundreds of titles from hidden gems to the biggest hits, playable across all devices. We do that with our consoles, the most affordable and powerful console lineup with Xbox Series S and X. And we do that with things like the Xbox Adaptive Controller, which has unlocked the joy of gaming for over 400 million players with disabilities. When everyone plays, we all win. It isn't just a tagline. It's a core principle that inspires everything we do. So please join us as we look forward to the next 20 years and more, as we unleash creativity, embrace a global community, and delight gamers everywhere, together. Thank you for being the core of what makes Xbox great. Our duty as soldiers is to protect humanity whatever the cost. I'm so fortunate to be able to work and play in this incredible sci-fi universe of Halo. Like Marvel and Star Wars, Halo is a universe where hundreds of stories can be told and where millions of experiences can be shared. Halo began 20 years ago as the defining experience for Xbox. And thanks to you, it's now a global pop culture phenomenon. Whether it's the highly anticipated Halo TV series coming to Paramount Plus next year, which you just saw a glimpse in that live action teaser, or stepping back into the boots of Master Chief in Halo Infinite this December, the Halo universe continues to expand in new and thrilling ways. Because of your passion for Halo and your constructive feedback, we gave Halo Infinite more time to refine it for everyone that has been with us from the beginning and for anyone who's just getting started. This game is a return to our roots with an epic campaign and a deeply rewarding multiplayer. And we can't wait for you to jump into this all new Halo experience. While the Master Chief is the hero of Halo, our fans are its heart and soul. And we at 343 are proud to celebrate 20 years of Halo with you in a very special way. Enjoy.
Halo community from all of us at 343 Industries. <laughs> to everyone who played in the recent multiplayer flights, your passion and feedback and spectacular gameplay clips inspired all of us as we made the final push to get Halo Infinite ready for launch. As a thank you and to celebrate our 20th anniversary, we wanted to do something special. So let me hand the mic to Tom French, creative director for Halo Infinite Multiplayer. Tom? Thank you, Joseph. On behalf of the entire Halo team, it's my honor and privilege to announce that your Spartan journey begins today. Right now, you can download and start playing season one of Halo Infinite's free-to-play multiplayer beta on Xbox One, Series S, X, and PC. This is the kickoff of our season, and you'll have access to all the maps, core modes, academy features, and the full battle pass to unlock, and your progression will carry over when we officially release the game on December 8th. This is an amazing moment for our team to get to celebrate this as we finally get to release the game and play with you online. See you online, Spartans. We built this facility off the grid to train the next generation of Spartans. To be a Spartan, you must become the impossible. Greetings, Spartan. It would be my pleasure to serve at your side. An electric kill. On your feet, Spartan. 